Disney's Contemporary Resort holds a secret, and no, it's not the location of the famous five-legged goat. It's actually what's on top of this building here. Welcome to Disney's Contemporary Resort and specifically Bay Lake Tower at the Contemporary. Now this is the DVC section of this resort and you don't need to be Disney Vacation Club to stay at this part of the resort. However, you do need to have a DVC membership in order to access the secret lounges at the top here. It's called the Villain's Lair at the top of the world and we're gonna get a monorail shot. Oh yeah, back to the lounge. I Another monorail. I love it so much. All right, but back to the lounge. I got to experience it a few weeks ago and there is some seriously yummy food up there. And y'all, the views are insane, but I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so how do we get access to this lounge? So first off, you have to be a Disney Vacation Club member who has access to membership extras. Having the membership extras is what allows you to get into lounges like this and the one over at Epcot in the Imagination Pavilion. Now to get membership extras, you have to have purchased your Disney Vacation Club membership from Disney directly. So like not from a resale place. But also if you purchase after June 2021, you have to get at least 150 points to qualify for membership extras. However, if you purchase before that date, there are some grandfather the clauses that will still allow you access. I'll leave more information about that in the description of this video. Whoa, these ears are catching the wind. I feel like I'm about to pull a Dumbo here and fly away. <laughs> but there's one other box you have to check if you want to get up to the lounge here. And that is you have to be staying at a Disney resort. Now, I have gained access to the lounge when we were using points to stay at Old Key West. That makes sense. But I've also gone into the lounge when we were just staying at our good old reliable all-star movies because we love the all-stars on this channel. So here is a language that Disney puts on the website. Last time I was here, I was a little concerned that I wouldn't be able to get in because I wasn't staying at a DVC resort, just a Disney resort. But in my personal experience, I didn't have any issue with that. That's where I got some of this upcoming footage just from my most recent visit to the lounge. Great, so you check all the boxes. Now, literally, how do we find this place? Because I honestly had a little bit of a hard time finding it myself. I think we're gonna head down this hallway. So let's go on a tour. All right, so if you are driving to Bay Lake Tower, what you're going to do is just park in the parking lot here. Disney says that there may be complimentary parking beginning at 5 p.m. if you're here for the lounge. It kind of just depends on availability and what's going on. Now, what you're gonna do is just kind of go into the lobby here and then head left and head down that hallway. If you're taking a bus here, it drops you off on the ground level, so you'll just make your way outside over to the Bay Lake Tower area. Now, if you're like me and coming from the monorail in the main contemporary building, you're going to take the walkway away from the Grand Canyon Concourse. That's what this area is called. There's the walkway, and these are the south elevators. So what you have to do is head on down, since we're on level five right now, you have to head on down to the main level. That sign is incorrect. That is outdated information. The check-in is not on the first level lobby but I'll show you where it actually is. Then from the south elevators, you'll head to the left and you're looking for the main lobbies. Awesome, we're all caught up. So what we're gonna do is just take this hallway down to the north elevators and you'll wind up here. And ding, ding, ding. Yay. All right, yours are saved in here. You're gonna find yourself here in this space with the north elevators and you're going to take them up to the 16th floor where check-in will be for the Villain's Lair Lounge. Now I've also seen the check-in be here in this area, but my most recent time and also the sign over here says that the check-in is actually up on the 16th floor, so just head your way on up there. Now you're on your way to some killer views. Check-in for the lounge begins at 6 p.m., which is really important to know because this place gets popular and it's only on a first-come, first-served basis, which I learned the hard way last time. So unfortunately, we're not gonna get to go into the Villains Lair tonight. While they do have a bar open um, up here in the outside portion, so you can still get a tasty beverage and enjoy the beautiful sunset. And we can even if the lounge itself is at capacity, do not worry. You can still enjoy the open air terrace and even grab a drink at the pop-up bar and take in those amazing views, which I cannot get over this view right now. This is absolutely amazing. Like this view alone at this gorgeous sunset is totally worth it. Perfect for after a long Magic Kingdom day and exactly how I thought my day was gonna go. But then, oh wow, we just got texting that there are two bar seats available. I was not expecting that. Mm, we were in, y'all. All right, so the theming is a kind of side plot here of will I actually be able to hold on to my mini ears? <laughs> All right, the theming of the lounge is admittedly 
on the lighter side. It's primarily some pictures of villains along with some props scattered here and there. Now the backstory of the lounge is that the villains need a place to unwind after a well villainous day. So they took their sinister selves on up to the top of the world lounge while it was closed for refurbishments. However, cast members went in there so they had to leave unexpectedly maybe potentially leave behind a couple pieces of evidence that they were here all along. So now the theming doesn't just stop at the decor, however, it also extends into the food, which is definitely a priority for me. That's how I get things like the Who's Afraid of the Pork Belly Slider, which was delicious, as well as the Empress's charcuterie board. They also have a list of sinfully delicious looking cocktails and concoctions. I had the non-alcoholic garden spritzer and it was delightful. Also real talk, why are all these chairs here? I've always wondered this. Worth noting that to get access to the lounge, you don't necessarily have to be a DVC member, but you have to be with one and on the room reservation at least, because the DVC member has to show their membership ID to gain access to the lounge, but they can bring the guests that are on their room reservation up to the lounge with them. Also, also worth noting that on special nights, there is also a dessert party for an additional charge, as well as something called the Wicked Wind Down, which gets you food, drink, dessert, and special viewing location for the fireworks, because y'all, it is all about the view here at the lounge. Seeing the fireworks from up here is absolutely insane. The lounge and the outdoor area get really busy, especially as it gets closer to the Magic Kingdom fireworks, which makes sense because... Incredible. Now you can get some similar views by heading over to the California Grill in the main building of the Contemporary. However, you're gonna pay $89 for dinner first. Whereas here it is complimentary access, you just pay for drinks and light bites as you'd like, which is a pretty darn good price for views like this. <laughs> Now for me, going to the lounge wasn't necessarily about the lounge in and of itself or the theming. It was about getting to have a lesser known Disney experience because I love getting to have different and special experiences at Disney World, like in this video here, where you'll get to see Disney World in a completely different light. So keep making magical memories and I'll meet you on Main Street. Oh, also I held on to my ears, yay! <laughs>